Hello, Internet. It has been a long time. And, hell, I've had a really good week, and I have a little bit of time. See you. This is a vlog. My week started on Sunday, where I went into work, and I was going to go home later and watch the second annual Streamy Awards. But, at work, I got a message saying that I had a ticket if I wanted it. So, heartbeat, just yes, 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 so much yes. I even did the yes dance. Look it up, or I'll link it there. Anyway, I get to the award show with plenty of time to spare, sporting my wonderful 8-bit red necktie, and I'm excited, beyond excited, I see all of these people that I want to go up and say hi to, but I don't because I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I think I don't want to make myself look like an ass, which I do at times. Uh, more on that later. But the award show, as most people know, was a train wreck, but a lot of good came out of it. Now, I don't think it'll ever be that bad again. And for one, I got to hug Shay Carl, which was awesome. I wish I was vlogging at the time. I wish she was vlogging at the time, but it was... After the first time he stormed the stage, I was like, Shay, that was great, I love you, blah. But I think the show suffered, and I went to the after party, and it was... I got to meet Phil Lamar, who was one of my idols with voice acting. Oh my god, was that... I looked like... Made, I looked like an asshole. Here, put your summer jacket in the green leather, and you do this. And like, I, did, I wasn't whiny, but I was definitely... Seriously, you are one of my main inspirations, and he is. And another one later in the week, I'll let me get to it. Overall, the night was great because of the people I was with, but the show itself was kind of meh. School sucks, and I'm and it's hard to deal coming back from break where I have no money and uh, doing so many wonderful things with so many wonderful people. I went to Slam Francisco and worked. But, uh, it was fun. It was good. A lot of good came out of it. And after schools, or was it Tuesday? No. Uh, Thursday night was, uh, the Celebrate the Web event, which was for the winners of the streamies, just to kind of remember that it's about the material instead of the show for the streamies, and that was the mo one of the most amazing nights that I've ever had, because I got a ticket. Uh, secondly, all of the people that I got to talk to at the, at the after party, at the bar, like, um, ho ho ho, uh, I got to talk to, well, I got to congratulate the guys from Ben and Way and talk to them a little bit, and that was cool, um, but... It was packed. The place was packed. And let's say, let's say this is where I'm standing. The bar is literally right behind me. And I've, I got my drink and there's so many people. I can't make my way back through the sea. So, all right, whatever, this happens. So I'll just, I just wait it out. And from this way comes, um, Greg Benson, Mediocre Films from, from Mediocre Films. The guys behind Mediocre Films directed the first season of the Guild. Wife of Kimmy, etc. He's awesome, amazing. And George Ruiz is coming from there. He is the uh, the main act, the main uh, agent at ICM, who represents Felicia Day and Alex Albrecht. And speaking of Felicia Day, she comes from this way, and they all just kind of meet in front of me. And all of a sudden, I'm a part of this conversation with an amazing group of people. And I reintroduced myself to Felicia. And I, oh, I worked in season three as as an extra. Oh, that's great. Good to see you again. I thought you looked familiar. Well, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Um, and then randomly in the middle of the conversation, she goes, could you take these tags off my shirt? I just bought it, and they're starting to piss me off. All right, Felicia Day. So um, my uh, I left out Andrew. How much of an asshole am I? Um, uh, but one of my better friends in the realm of web television, Andrew Seeley, who hosts Mails in Your Pocket, link is somewhere there. I was looking for it over there, but I will link it. Um, sat next to him during the show and, and talked to him, and we were originally tag-teaming, and then we got uh, different groups of people, and we got split up, and then re re 
equated and so on and so forth. But uh, we had taken Felicia Day's tags off. And say that with a serious face. I just did. I just did. And continue the conversation. And then she went over that way. And Greg was like, so I don't. And I was wearing a name tag that said uh, Soapbox Mark, Dragon Slash Explosion Force Time Splitters Requiem. So Greg asked me, what the hell is that? That sounds awesome. And I went, it is awesome. And I gave him a pitch without trying to sound too much like an asshole, <laughs> essentially. Just like, this is a good, it's a great show, it's really funny, and I, I didn't want to sound, you know, like, I didn't want to sound like I was trying to sell the product. But he was like, yeah, send me a message, I'll check it out. And he did, and he liked it, and I'm excited. And that made my Friday so much more awesome than... So much more awesome than it was. So, and I talked to Greg for like 15, 20 minutes about YouTube. And at, while I was talking to him, the wonderful, beautiful, and talented Taryn O'Neill, over that way, let's say over there, and she went, Mark, stay where you are, I've got your stuff. For those of you that don't know, I entered a contest uh, with the After Judgment folks, and uh, uh, won a Zoom and a ticket to the Streamies if they were nominated. They didn't get nominated. So I won a Zoom, which is actually really cool. I didn't, I didn't, know, well, it's cool. It's my guild machine. That's what I'm calling it because I downloaded all of the stuff from the guild because it's free because it's a Microsoft sponsored show. So I have all three seasons of the guild and all of the behind the scenes, gag reels, Halloween specials, Christmas specials on my Zoom. Still weird to say. And I think so. I love that. And I have the radio again. I haven't had the radio in my car for a while, so it's very cool. But then talked to Taryn for like 15, 20 minutes, and it was a great conversation. And I just great. I couldn't, I wouldn't replace it, but that's not it. Uh, so then Andrew Seely and I meet back up, and uh, we're talking to Michelle Boyd, who played Riley on season two and three of The Guild, uh, Zabu's love interest. Love interest. And we talked about unicorns and Pegasus, Pegasi, because she had purchased the new Pegasus mount for WoW on the iPhone during the show. And that was awesome. That's cool. So, you know, had a lovely conversation with Michelle Boyd. Then, it was late, it was getting late, so I left, and I said goodbye to more people than I did at the last new media event I was at. Which I think is awesome. Oh, and, and another guy, Derek, who I had a... I went to a wine and cheese party at his house. And uh, he was like, dude, we got to talk about stuff soon. And I was like, all right. You know, m meeting the man once and talking to him on Twitter for the rest of the time. That's really cool. And saying about it, Jenny Powell, who organized the event. Like, thanks for coming, yeah. And uh, Taryn and Barrett Garisi, who wrote one of the best... Uh, reviews of the show, of the streamy show. I'll link to that too. I have a lot of links. So Friday, I had a work job all day at a friend's cutting down a tree. A lot harder than it sounds. Chainsaws. My hand really hurts. But it happened. And I rush home to make it to the Psychic, where, uh, where Jeff Kanata from TRS... Tonight's his penultimate show. He's got the last show tomorrow, so I'm not going to say go out and see it because... By the time you see this, it'll probably be over with. But it was a good show, very good show. Uh, really enjoyed Jeff in it. We talked to him after the show. And Richard Her Hervitz, 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 uh, the guy who voiced Invader Zim and Daggett and Billy, amazing voice, was also in it. Another person that I look up to in the voice acting biz. And I got to meet him and, and shake his hand and say that he was an inspiration. Great, great night. And, oh, don't get me started. I would like to keep doing these. If you would like me to keep doing these, please let me know. I know this has run long. I wanted to be quick, but it was my week and it was awesome. If you want me to go back in time and relate what has happened to me within these past few months, which is probably bull because most of you are my friends and you're here anyway. But thank you for watching. I might come back because hell, there's always more to talk about. See you later, internet. See you on five points of view. Why the hell not?